have one question uh, about different types of khatam in Islam, mm. uh, like some Allah's names, uh, surahs, and Quran khatam. Uh, here, my um, relatives asked me that I should take a part with her in khatam uh, ar Rahman. Uh, they say the name of Allah, 20,000, and uh, they say that I should take a part with her. But I hear that if that's not allowed in Islam, it's bidah. Um, yet I'm not sure, is it bidah? Should I... Look, Sister Rubina, thank you for asking this very important question. You know what is funny and sad, meanwhile? We as Muslims, we travel from our whatever society or culture, and we take our package of cultural practices with us to Germany, to Europe, to North America, to Latin America, to Japan. Like, you know, we're teaching the new Muslims bunch of innovations. It's very simple. There is only one khatm, which is khatm al-Qur'an, if you read it from cover to cover on your own, or listen to it from cover to cover on your own. But when somebody says, let's do khatm, and he gives me one para, or you say, your share is to recite uh, the 27th part of the Quran. Okay, I recited the 27th part of the Quran. Then what? You just recited one part of the Quran. Okay, your share is to recite Surah Al-Rahman. I did recite it. So I just recited Surah Al-Rahman. How can a person believe that we did khatm when everyone recited something different? Then it happened that 30 people sat and they recited each one, one para. MashaAllah recited the whole Quran. You recited whatever you recited only. Or whatever you listen to attentively only. Then Asma'ullah al-Husna in Surah Al-A'raf, Allah the Almighty says, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَادْعُوهُ بِهَا وَذَرُوا الَّذِينَ يُلْحِدُونَ فِي أَسْمَائِهِ to Allah belong the beautiful names, so invoke Him via His names. Use them as means of approach or wasila. How many times should I recite, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman? Well, I like to recite it a thousand, two thousand, twenty thousand. Okay. Then when we say, you guys, let's make twenty thousand times khatmul uh, ism or reciting the names of Allah uh, on this blessed night, so we get together to recite a certain number of times, we say, no. Why not? Because now you are introducing a new prescription. I would only say yes if I know that the Prophet ﷺ said on Wednesday you get together and you recite uh, the name of Allah, Ya Hayu, Ya Qayyum, 1,000 times, then your dua will be accepted. If there is no reference, then I'm not listening to you. I will recite, I will hold my tasbih or recite by my heart and I would invoke the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all hundred, a thousand, ten thousand times, it doesn't matter. All it becomes problematic and it becomes an innovation when you say, okay, everyone is should recite it that many number of times. Or to add, if you recite this name 700 times, then you ask Allah for your need, it will be delivered, fake. There is no such reference. You may recite it only once. You may raise your hand and say, Ya Afu, Ya Ghafoor. Pardon me and forgive me my sins. Look what Aisha radiallahu anha learned from little Aisha. She was little back then. She said, Ya Rasulullah, if I know, if I sense, if I find out Laylatul Qadr is tonight, what am I supposed to do? Aisha, the Prophet's wife, 1450 years ago, he said, Ya Aisha, you should say, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anni. How many times he didn't specify? So if I make it a thousand times, is it good? Yeah. If I make it two or three, it would be only bad if Sheikh Muhammad said, you guys tonight want to make 20,000 times, everyone let him or her do it as many times as they can afford. Barakallahu feekum.